Hey guys, in this new video, we're going to take a look at Gibbs Free Energy. Now, we've been talking about the system and the surroundings, and we've been talking about entropy, and to a lesser extent, delta H, enthalpy. Now we're going to take a look at the last major variable, our delta G value. We're going to say, we know that according to the second law of thermodynamics, a spontaneous reaction will be when delta S total, or delta S universe, is greater than zero. But now we're gonna bring into the mix delta G. Besides looking at delta S total, it's also great to look at delta G because knowing the sign for delta G will be a great way to determine if your reaction is spontaneous or not overall. Now, to do this, we use two different equations. Here, we'll take a look at the one on the left side. It says delta G zero equals delta H zero minus T delta S zero. Remember, these zero means that we're under standard conditions. And when it comes to thermodynamics, standard conditions means one atmosphere and 25 degrees Celsius. And then on the other side, we have delta G equals delta G zero plus RT ln Q. Here, this would be delta G under non-standard conditions. So we're not at one atmosphere or our temperature is not 25 degrees Celsius. Here, it equals delta G zero again. R here is our gas constant, which is 8.314 joules over moles times K. T is our temperature in Kelvin. Q is known as our reaction quotient. And we're going to see our reaction quotient is just products over reactants. We're going to say when it comes to Q, it ignores two states of matter. It ignores solids and liquids. So if it's a solid or liquid, it ignores it. If it's aqueous or gaseous or gas, it will look at them. Okay, so ignore solids and liquids but look at aqueous and gases. Now we're gonna say here, if delta G under non-standard conditions is less than zero, then our reaction is spontaneous. If it's greater than zero, then it's non-spontaneous. And if it's equal to zero, then our reaction is at equilibrium. 